Switzerland is in a tight grip of ultra-right wing fascists and nobody really cares about that in the entire fascist state in the Alps and like Hitler's little helpers the entire Swiss population seems to agree with total fascism. As on March 6, 2014 the all-powerful Swiss military industrial complex had the restrictions eased on Swiss weapon exports and we can see more and more people getting killed worldwide with Swiss high-precision weaponry all over. You can see the Swiss weaponry being used all over to kill innocent, unarmed people worldwide. And this was in the Ukraine. The entire country is all about fascism, corruption, lies and nepotism. In order to achieve big business at all cost. The Swiss military industrial complex says, well wait, I know some SVP People's Party guys in Parliament who stand on our side, which is nationalism, guns and money. The main thing, the main things Nazism has always been about, really. Therefore, hundreds of unarmed Ukrainian civilians had to die, get maimed or wounded at Maidan Square in 2014 because of these Swiss Nazi money-making hillbillies or short just Swiss billies. Well these people are dead due to Swiss arms. Yes it has come out that Swiss high precision NATO Cal 308 sniper rifles by the Swiss weapons manufacturer Brugger und Tomet Jawohl of the canton of Bern were used to murder unarmed civilians standing up for their freedom and against tyranny. Well here's the famous Swiss Maidan gun, here it is. You can read it all here. Oh what a neutral country eh? Look, here you can see the Ukraine, they make the guns under license. You know? They're now being manufactured you know, to kill Russians. And remember how I've shown you the dictator's Yanukovych Swiss chalet built by Swiss carpenters and full of occult pharaonic symbols from the motherland in the Alps. And how there's a very large Swiss fifth column that emigrated to Bessarabia in the Ukraine, like Octogon going for all key positions as the Berkut killer cops or Berkut, the killer cops units. A name having the same sound as Bern, Berkut, Bern, B-E-R, from the canton of the Bear and Blackwater Bear Claw, the very same canton where the sniper rifles came from. And there's talk that neo-Nazis also participated in the snipings on it at the Maidan place with those Swiss high precision rifles and that Gladio was involved. Well, let me tell you that Gladio is and has always been one of Octagon's branches of this secretive Swiss conglomerate and neo-Nazism is just the very thing Swissy enjoys most. Let me read the old article. Just punch pause. This is a fifth column in the Ukraine. Oh. There they are. Hello, put your hand up. Well, there it is. Neo Nazi. They're secretive as Switzerland. Many Swiss emigrated to the Ukraine, to Bessarabia, and they have chosen Swiss arms. So, what do you think they are? You really think they're not Swiss? I can read the whole article. There you go. And in order to maintain the Swiss neutrality swindle, before this year's new laws, the Swissy just bypassed laws by having Swissy's guns manufactured under license 
like in the Ukraine and many, many other places, who produce now many of them the weapons to kill and murder Russians in the Donetsk area, the province. So this new law was just a technicality really, but effectively showing that severe times are coming ahead. So here you can read the whole article. Critics outbreak over easings um, of uh, arms exports. Why not in Switzerland? And if they do pretend to be outraged, it's just theatre, really. It's just acting. Because they want to be known for being neutral, you see. They all agree. These are Hitler's little helpers, you know, or big helpers, I'd, I'd say. Business before ethics. Well, that's very, very true. It's just business as usual.